Last week we released a new course called the Crab King, which is a creature design course in Nomad Sculpt on the iPad. And one of the chapters from that, it's a bonus chapter at the end, is all about how we use Polycam to scan in real world environments or real world objects and get them into the iPad and, and being used in our Nomad scenes. Um, so I thought I'd share that bonus chapter with you and let you have a good look at how we use Polycam and see if it's any use to you in your work. So having a, a psych in the background um, may, may be what you want, but you may want to do much more realistic backgrounds and you can build them and you can model them uh, you know, in lots and lots of different ways. But what about scanning them and bringing them in? So what you can actually do and what we'll do here is we'll take this model as it is with the lights as they are and we'll go over to a piece of software called Polycam. And I use this all the time. I use the free version and basically with my iPhone, I can just hold it around um, a model and it will scan it in and bring it in for me and then export it directly out and in a format that then can be read by Nomad Sculpt. So let's go ahead and just quickly show you how that works on the iPhone. Um, you do it on your iPad or your, or your iPhone, whichever works for you. And then we'll bring it in here and we'll put it into this scene. Okay, so presuming you've got Polycam installed, then basically you just go and do plus, which allows you to then start a new scene. And then if you've picked your scene, which we have here, we've walked down this, this alleyway here, we've found this little stairwell. Uh, it all looks good because it turns the corner and goes down some steps. So we're really happy. And one good tip is to do it on a, a day when the sun's not too bright. So do it when it's overcast, which is what I'm doing here. And then all you simply do is start pointing it at the areas that you want to capture. So wherever it's blue, you can see that, that, that you know, that, that's what you want to capture. It's not yet captured. So find the blue areas and move around. Go above it, go below it, go around it. And make sure that all the areas are captured and there's no blue showing. In these steps, for example, you want to go all the way to the bottom of the steps and make sure that, you know, you're getting it right the way to the floor because you don't, you don't know how far the scene's going to extend. When you've done that and you're happy and everything's covered, then you simply just move to the next stage, which is you turn off the camera and you just hit process. And what it does then is it starts calculating um, the, the individual images that you've captured as a, as a video. And it will then convert that into a model and texture for you. And then after a couple of minutes of that processing, then it's gonna be ready for export. And at that point, all I do is I just use OBJ, the format OBJ. And that gives us all the files necessary to go straight into Nomad. So let's jump back to Nomad and see what we've got. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna to go to import, add to scene, which is important so we don't lose what we've already done. I just put it in my downloads, um, iCloud downloads, sorry. And then just go to wherever I've saved it and then just bring that, select all three of the, the files that are in there and just bring them in as one, like so. And that basically brings in that little alleyway that I've scanned and it's actually giving you all of the texture there as well. So it's now simply just a case of scaling that to suit. Um, ignore the lighting for now, bring the model around somewhere. Like you say, for example, he's coming around this corner. Just move it around as a single piece like something like that, maybe a bit bigger, like so. And then we go back and we start posing our model. And this is where having the model posed is quite useful because we want him to come around this corner. His leg has detached again, so I'm going to put him back where he belongs. So we'll have him coming around this corner, which means we can have his arm coming over the top of this like that. Maybe his body will be twisted a bit and his head down a bit for now. This arm swinging back, this leg up and out of the way, like so. And this one, the big important thing here is that this contacts the ground as he comes around the corner. So we just have to make sure it's at the right level and then bring this leg up and just posing it with the, with this model now. 
and that's him in the right sort of place. And then we can just work through the lights we've got or we can add and remove lights that we, we may already have. So let's turn them all off and see what we've got. The HDRI, um, let's have a look at this. Let's change it to something a bit more reddish like that. And then we'll knock that down a bit so we don't want too much bright light there. And let's just bring one light back and see what it does. So that's that key, that, that's that feature red light that we put in. We've got this one that's like a major light here. So where do we want this coming now? So you've got to rethink it within this scene now. So do we want it from the front or do we want it coming down the side of it like it's coming behind him like that, which casts a really nice shadow down there. So that does look good actually, doesn't it? So I think that, that might be a, a good way to use that light. And then maybe just add in one more, turn that light back on and where have we got this one pointing so he's inside the wall so we'll bring him out the front and round like that just to give us that as if like somebody's shining a torch up the stairwell at him something like that perhaps and then adjust the cone angle and the position there we go and that is how we would use it now there's no bump as in there's no um the, the, the wall is just geometry and an image on it. So, you know, it's not going to be as good as, uh, you know, was where we could take this should we do lots more work on it. But it's more than good enough to do this kind of concept work. You know, it's a, it's a great piece of uh, creative trickery that allows us to start, you know, making, you know, really cool images like this with very, very little effort. You know, it's not taken much to scan that in and, and, and use it inside of Nomad. So that's a really good one for you to try um, if you've got a, you know, a way to scan in with the, with the iPhone. Thanks for watching the video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content. And if you like it enough to give it a thumbs up, then why not subscribe to the channel? And we'll let you know when we upload new content, which is every week. We've got a new course out now called The Crab King, and we fully updated the Beginner's Nomad course. So the details are all down below if you're interested in either of those. And if not, have a great week anyway.